Hey, my name is Jamie Brewer. I have been assigned as for the argument of the Green New Deal, so let's give it a go. Whether you believe in climate change or global warming or not, it's no secret that human beings and our lifestyles have never been very considerate or kind to our planet, ever. I'm not going to pretend that I was extremely well versed in this proposal before the assignment, as it is just a proposal that didn't quite feel the need to get too worked up yet. If we're going to discuss the Green New Deal, we first have to talk about what it is and what it isn't. It isn't legislation. It's not a bill. It's not going to be voted on to be put into effect immediately. It is, however, a 14-page proposal. It's a first step, really. This is the first step in just getting our leaders to acknowledge the problems at hand. It's a list of goals, lofty ones, and it's divided into two parts, a plan of action and a promise to the people. Before we dive in, let's address the concept of money. It's always going to be a big deal. It's always going to be an argument, no matter what we're discussing. In my opinion, people are either going to suffer from the problems of this world and we'll have to pay billions and trillions to get them out of it, or we'll have to pay billions and trillions to stop the problems before it kills people, before that makes them suffer. So money's always gonna be a point of contention. Let's move on. When it comes to the Green New Deal, the main proposal is moving away from fossil fuels, coming up with more sustainable methods of energy stopping a climate disaster before it could ever start. This will include needing things like electric vehicles, more efficient traveling, changing the way that we produce things like steel and concrete, basically just trying to have a more sustainable way of life. Now, as stated above, this is going to cost money, but what doesn't? And an undertaking for the benefit of humankind would be worth it. The cool thing is, is that with a massive undertaking like this, there will be an abundance of new jobs available. And in reality, many of these new jobs will be above average paying. Part two comes into play when you realize that when you grow and change, whether as a human or a country or a planet, you're going to have to go through growing pains. If we do switch to a zero emission society, that will initially put people out of work. So, part two is pretty much just a set of promises to the American people, including job guarantees, universal health care, education, you know, the basic things that some people think are freedoms that should be essential to the citizens of the richest country in the world. To summarize, the first part of the New Deal is goals to prevent a global disaster, one that we're probably headed for. The second is just a way that we should do it so that all Americans come out better on the other side. So do I agree with the Green New Deal for the sake of this class? Yes. But more importantly than agreeing, it's about realizing that this is not legislation. It's simply a proposal of lofty goals. And goals are good. We should want more for and from this beautiful planet and country we get to call home. And even though my life is pretty sweet, you'd have to be rather dense to not realize that what we do now is setting the stage for future generations. The Green New Deal is a long shot, but right now it is only plan that acknowledges what I think we all know is coming. And if a global climate disaster was to happen, there will be no paradigm because there, there will be nothing left to fight for. Problem solved.